All right, let's talk about referral traffic. Now, referral traffic is just simply the act of going to another property before going to your website. So whenever someone clicks a link originating from Yelp or Twitter or Facebook or YouTube, that is a referral traffic uh, indicator. And there are a couple ways to go about doing that. I'm going to show you a method of using crowd search plus search, then to the social tier one traffic, which is this, and then going to your website. And I just listed Yelp, Twitter, and Facebook, and YouTube because they're some of the biggest ones that I like to, to use for my own campaigns. So in order to really understand this, I'm just going to show you some examples. And uh, let me just go over to... All right, I was pulling up some examples before, but I'll start fresh here for you. All right, let's go over to Google. All right, so here's Google right here. And we're just going to type in San Diego plumber. Oops. Let me zoom over here so you can see. All right, so San Diego plumber, search for it. And what we're looking for, if you remember the diagram, we're looking for a Yelp listing. If you can't find the Yelp listing by just doing a generalized search on the first 10 pages, then you can just go ahead and type in, you know, append Yelp before or after the phrase, and it'll come up that way most likely. And what we're doing here is we're looking for a Yelp listing for your business. So if you don't have a Yelp listing, obviously you need to get one first, right? But the purpose of this is showing you how the referral traffic works. So here's the search, San Diego Plumber. Now you're going to tell the user, find this Yelp listing. So we'll say that this is your, your listing here, Courtesy Plumbing. So then they're going to click on this. Okay, and then the searcher is going to be on your Yelp page. And they're probably going to you know, browse here for a little bit, scrolling around, looking at stuff. And then the next thing to do is to click on your main website URL, because this is where you would have your, your brand URL here for your website. And then the user will click this. Okay, so they click that, and it's opening up your actual website. So Courtesy Plumbing is now opened, and this is a referral traffic link. And just to go back to the diagram to show you, so you see what we did was we had crowd search conduct an organic search. It found the Yelp listing. It clicked on this Yelp listing, and then it moved, or then it uh, clicked on the website link for yours. This resulted in a referral traffic uh, indicator from Yelp. Okay. Now the same premise can be applied to Twitter, to Facebook, to YouTube, to any others. And just to, I'll just run through setting this up actually in Crowd Search based on what we just talked about with Yelp, just to show you. All right, so if we go to Crowd Search and enter a new campaign, I'll call this uh, San Diego Plumber Referral, and I'll put this in a new group called Referral Traffic for San Diego Plumber. Let me spell this right. And the URL that you're going to have here is uh, your Yelp listing because that's what we're looking for in the search engine. So I'm going to come over here to the Yelp page. Uh, whoops, let me make sure you guys can see everything here. Let me zoom up here just a bit. So I'm going to go over to this Yelp listing and all I'm going to do is just copy this link and then come back over to my dashboard here and I'm going to plug that URL in. Make sure you, you include the uh, HTTP. And I want to click exact. Because if you recall, going back over to, let me, let me back this up to the search. If you recall over here, we had multiple Yelp listings. Because, you know, so we don't want to click on this guy. He's a, he could be a competitor of ours, right? There are other Yelp listings here. We want to make sure they only click on our Yelp listing. So we have to click, make sure you select to use exact when you're doing this referral traffic. Because all the referral traffic is most likely off of a, a, a larger property like Facebook and YouTube. So you need to use exact when you're doing referral traffic like this. The keyword, this can be exactly what we typed in, which was San Diego Plumber. And then I'm going to just use Google for this. And now you can use other search engines as well. It's completely up to you. Uh, I'm not going to worry about keyword tracking you, you, or for our local area, so I don't really care that the tracking is in a certain city or not. Just global tracking is fine. So go ahead and click Next Step. 
And just give it a minute here. It's going to try to find that rank for that term and that Yelp listing that we entered in there. Sometimes this can take up to two minutes depending on how many people are searching or entering campaigns in CrowdSearch. Could be bogging down our, uh, our interface to pull this data. So just go get a glass of water in the meantime and uh, you check back on it and it usually updates. I'm hoping this updates a little faster here. So it's just... Uh, All right, so this loaded up and uh, took a little bit longer than normal, but just uh, bear with it, like I said. So right now you can see that it says that Yelp listing is currently ranking number three, which is fine. Uh, you don't need to pay too much attention to this one. This is based on map ranking. Obviously, the uh, Yelp listing is not in the maps. And uh, we'll just go down and start setting this up as referral trap. You should be familiar with the rest of this process based on the other training videos. Um, so we're going to go ahead and turn off random browsing. And what we're going to do is enter in our main URL here uh, for the website. So if you remember, the uh, click here was to Courtesy Plumbing. All right, so we need courtesyplumbing.com website. And I grabbed that already from over here. Just grab this again and go back over to dashboard. And what we have to do is, what we have to do is put in this URL here for the main money site. All right, so what's happening is the keyword is being searched for San Diego Plumber. That URL of the Yelp page is being found and then clicked on. And then once on that Yelp listing, what the next action we want is to go to this URL. So this is the next one we put in here. And we're probably going to want to put in a few more here to dictate inner page visits as well. So we may say, all right, once you're on this page, uh, we'd like you to click on uh, this link here for residential. So I'll just copy that link address and come back over to CrowdSearch and type in that URL. So that's the next inner page. And then I'll, I'll actually click on it and see the flow I want to do here. All right, so I'm on this page. And now what do I want to do? I want to have them click on water heater installation and repair. So I'm going to copy that link address. Oops, let me go back over to CrowdSearch. And we're going to put that URL in. All right, and then let's get another one. Let's go, let me click on that one first. All right, and then the next one, let's say we do, let's do a contact us now. So we'll go to the contact page. I'd like to end on the contact page for this referral traffic, just because it looks like a nice conversion signal to me. All right, and then let's actually look at it. Um, yeah, so they'll exit from here. This will be the end point of this campaign. All right, so again, just to summarize, the search will go to uh, San Diego Plumber, find this Yelp listing, click on that. And then after that, navigate to your main website. So they'll click on that link in your, Yelp, in your Yelp listing. This is where the signal of referral traffic comes in. And then they're going to navigate the inner pages and then eventually leave on the contact us page. I would turn bounce back off just because um, I don't, I mean, you, you can leave it on depending if you don't have any other properties that you care about being bounced off of, but you can disable it, make it easier on yourself. And then that's really it. You would just, you'd save this campaign as is. And that will give you this referral traffic that we just showed. Let me center this on here. So crowd search to a search, to the Yelp listing, to your website, and then some inner pages of your website. Now you can use the same premise on Twitter. Uh, some of the things that I really like to do with Twitter are to do a search with a hashtag. And I'll show you an example of, uh, let me go to this one here. So I typed in Twitter hashtag SEO Dan underscore Anton in my username. Now, this isn't an exact science. You can pretty much enter anything you want here, which is going to trigger a result in the search listings that you want. So this, I know this triggered a search uh, listing that I wanted to find. So what you would do is, again, you can um, enter this hashtag in as part of your search, which I think is a great indicator for this actual term. And then click on the Twitter listing. And then what you might want to do is, and I'll center this, you may want to just have the navigation go to this URL now next, which this could be your, your actual website. All right, so the referral is now coming from Twitter via you know a nice little search with a hashtag into your website. And then from your website, there could be some more uh, inner page browsing like I showed with the Yelp example. And let's go over here again. So again, same same premise with Facebook. And I'll pull up, a, let me see, I'll pull up, pulled up the Sears website. So let's say you own Sears, which would be nice if you did, right? Um, 
you can trigger a search in Google. Maybe you type in Sears space Facebook or your brand space Facebook, whatever. Whatever triggers that Facebook page result. Then click on the Facebook page. So we're here now. Okay, so the picture is coming from Google, typing in Sears Facebook, and then clicking on that listing in the search results. So now we're here, and then under the About uh, part of it, you usually have your website. And you can also inform the searcher to, let me, let me center this on the page a little better. You can also instruct the uh, searcher to click on About first if you want. This would be inter you know, one of the inner page URLs. And then click your website. So your main website would be down here. Or you can do it directly from the main page itself. So they would click here. So as soon as this is clicked on, I go to the Sears main website. And this triggers, and of course I'm in, I'm in Puerto Rico, so things start in Spanish for me, so ignore that. <laughs> but that now triggered a referral uh, traffic signal to Sears.com's website from Facebook. All right, going back over to the slide. Uh, YouTube is another great example. So you can have uh, a search happen so they find your video in YouTube or excuse me, in, uh, in the search results. So maybe you have a video listed in Google for a certain phrase. Let me go over to, uh, let's go back to Google. And I don't type in like, what would trigger a video? How, how to fly a drone. I just got a drone, it's kind of fun. All right, here's one that, uh, let's, say, let's say that you own this one. I mean, obviously you would want to tailor this search query to force a listing, if, even if it's not on the page, on first page, it could be on uh, another page in the listings, that's fine. But let's say this is yours. So the search would be here, then they click on this, and if you optimize your YouTube video the way you should have, let me pause that. If you optimize your YouTube video properly, you should have, and this guy does, have a link in your description. So now that searcher is clicking on this link to your website. Again, a referral traffic now from YouTube. Um, I hope that clarified how to use referral traffic. Uh, I like to do this a lot. You know, Again, these are the big four that I typically use, but you can do this with any type of property that you can get to be forced in the listing, force the search in the listing somehow with a query. And then from there, navigate to your website, as long as your website link appears on one of these properties. And that is the best way to get referral traffic using CrowdSearch. And referral traffic is so powerful, guys. If you aren't doing this, you're really missing the mark with uh, the power of CrowdSearch. So definitely mix this into what you're doing. As far as the number of searches to do for this, keep it low. Don't get too crazy with it, and you know if, certainly if you're doing a lot of different properties, then you can get away with doing less searches because as an aggregate, as all of them start to work together, it's it's a nice process. So keep it keep it uh, a little smaller, small to start out with, and then increase as you go. All right, that's it for referral traffic. Get to it.